jealous eyes. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. Love never dies. And today, we all have the incredible opportunity to witness true love, as Gina and Patrick promise to face the future together, accepting whatever joys or challenges inevitably lie ahead. Their walk together has created an everlasting bond. They have tested their endurance to stand what life has thrown at them. Gina and Patrick sort of met on a Ferris wheel. It was more or less love at first sight as Gina overcame heights to get to know Patrick. Patrick caught her eye from across the bar and he was instantly enamored. Since those first dates, Mammoth has become their go-to vacation destination, with snowboarding a yearly must. From the desert to these mountains, their love has only grown as they pursue their dreams, build their home and their future. Their connection to one another has only grown deeper. As a matter of fact, their family knows that destiny has brought them together and that their strong, adventurous natures motivates each other to be the best that they can be. As all of you know, these two are essentially one and the same. Call Gina, Patrick picks up. Ask Patrick <laughs> a question, Gina answers. They intimately know one another, and that is why we are here today. Gina appreciates Patrick's ability to see the bigger picture, his strength, and his willingness to take on any problem. Patrick is equally in love with Gina's perseverance and determination. Together, they will summit many mountains. They shared with me that they make each other happy. They entertain each other, and they are both willing to put in what it takes to make it all the way to the end. They love each other for their eternal understanding of one another and their ability to not judge mistakes by their past or present. Clearly, these two have learned the secrets to a successful marriage already. When couples enjoy the same pastimes, being glued at the hip is a natural outcome. Certainly, Ferris wheels will need to be enjoyed. And mountains will need to be climbed over the course of their lifetime, but their devotion and respect for one another will help them surmount any challenge that comes their way. 
speaking of mountains and this beautiful location that we're here at today, John Muir also loved these mountains. And over a hundred years ago, he wrote, oh, these vast, calm, measureless mountain days in whose light everything seems equally divine, opening a thousand windows to show us God. Climb the mountain and get their good tidings. Nature's peace will flow into you as sunshine flows into trees. The winds will blow their own freshness into you and the storms their energy while cares drop off like autumn leaves. This is clearly the moment that we are in today to witness you both commit yourselves to one another under the watchful presence of these beautiful, majestic mountain peaks. A vast, unknown future stretches out before you. It is a great tribute to your perseverance in each other that you're willing to face all those uncertainties together. May the pure, simple love which join you in hearts and hands today never fail, but grow deeper and surer with every year you spend together. At this time, we will speak the vows that will be the foundation of this marriage. They are simple words, but their meanings are designed to be taken seriously and forever. As Gina and Patrick speak their promises to one another, I challenge everyone present to reflect on their own relationships. May today's ceremony remind all of us of the love we have for one another and the reasons that we love our partners. For a thousand years, couples have exchanged rings as a token of their vows. You give each other these rings as a symbol of your love for each other, your faith and your strength together, and your covenant to learn and grow together. Let it be a reminder that you're always by each other's side. <clears throat> I choose you, Gina, to be my wife. I choose you, Gina, to be my wife. And I commit myself to your happiness. And I commit myself to your happiness. To your self-fulfillment as a person. To your self-fulfillment as a person. I promise to stand by you in sickness and in health. I promise to stand by you in sickness and in health. Through adversity and prosperity. Through adversity and prosperity. And I promise you all of my love now and forever. And I promise you all my love now and forever. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. Wear it with love and joy. Wear it with love and joy. For I choose you to be my wife. For I choose you. This day and every day. This day and every day. All right, same thing. Other hands. I choose you, Patrick, to be my husband. I choose you, Patrick, to be my husband. And I commit myself to your happiness. And I commit myself to your happiness. To your self fulfillment as a person. To your self fulfillment. I promise to stand by you in sickness and in health. I promise to stand by you in sickness and in health. Through adversity and prosperity. Through adversity and prosperity. And I love you. I, I choose you to be my husband now and forever. I choose you to be my husband now and forever. I accept your ring. I accept your ring. And give you this ring. Wear with love and joy. To wear with love and joy. And now a poem titled Blessings for a Marriage. <laughs> May your marriage bring you all the exquisite excitement that marriage should bring, and may life grant you patience, tolerance, and understanding. May you always need one another, not so much to fill your emptiness as to help you know your fullness. A mountain needs a valley to be complete. The valley does not make the mountain less but more, and the valley is more a valley because it has a mountain towering over it. So let it be with both of you. May you need one another, but not out of weakness. May you want one another, but not out of lack. May you succeed in all important ways with one another and not fail in the little graces. May you look for things to praise, often say I love you, and take no notice of small faults. If you have quarrels that push you apart, may both of you have the good sense enough to take the first step back. May you have happiness, and may you find it making one another happy. And may you have love, and may you find it loving one another. Well, Gina and Patrick. We have heard your promise to share your lives in marriage. It is certainly not my standing before you that makes your marriage real, but what you have said and done for your friends and family and God. On behalf of everyone here, it is my honor to keep your hand and announce that you are husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. Woo! Ha, 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 ha.
Cops and hacks, ladies and gentlemen. Help up 